G'day. This video is about a part that I made about four years ago and I also made a video at the time and this video is to have a look at how I would do it differently these days. There's the part, just a large chunk of aluminium with a bit of a shape carved out of the centre and a hole through the middle. Now this is the old video, just hurry through it, I'm just using it basically so that we can see that I was using PEX for the grooving cycle and later for the parting off. Of course you really only need to peck with a grooving can cycle you really only need to peck your first groove because once you've done the first groove the second groove has plenty of room for the chips to escape and the further you go the more room it gets. Here I'm just doing the roughing cuts for the radius and following it around and that's the carved away piece finished. Now we move on to the parting with so many pecs, just not funny. So glad I've given it up. Takes forever and gives you a poor surface finish which we'll have a look at towards the end where I compare the two surface finishes with the last time and this time. You can see some, they look like dummy parting tools in there at the right hand end and the left hand end of that groove. Uh, they're ones I created in CAD so that I could actually know where to take the tool to when I was creating the program. There you can see a blown up version of it. Each of those shapes is the corner is touching a 4.9 millimeter radius, which I've drawn inside the 5 millimeter radius, which will actually be the path that the tool will follow. So that gives me some roughing and then some finishing off. That's just setting the tools so that they're both at the same Z position. That way they either both miss the chuck or they both hit it. Here we're doing 2400 RPM with a feed of 0.1 with a 6mm drill. That's a deep hole jobber drill. They tend to get rid of swarf really nicely. The part, I, the drawing for the part says an 8mm hole. Um, I'm not making these for a customer, I'm making these to create this video. So a 6mm drill was the one I could find, so I used that and just parted a little bit deeper parting tool didn't mind. So I'm taking a decent cut there. One because I was going to anyway because I didn't want any side loading on the tool but the guy that cut them for me, these blanks, actually left another millimetre on as well so I ended up with a little slice coming away. And this is the grooving cycle, the grooving can cycle. Yes, let's move it along. Slowed down there to 1500 RPM, that was the delay. And now we're going around that at 0.03 feed per revolution. And just cleaning off the marks left by the grooving cycle. This is at two times normal speed, so you can see, it. imagine how painfully slow it was to watch. And then we go in in the parting off with one move. No pecking, chips coming out nicely. It's not a bad looking part if I do say so myself. There you go, that was that one. Now, this one I wanted to make a few changes and I forgot. I just started the program. So when I got to about here I stopped the program because I wasn't happy with that effect. I hadn't set the grooves shallow enough or narrow enough in the grooving cycle. So I stopped it and set it up to do better and you can see there's no fins being left now. Also changed the speed so it ran at 2400 throughout. 
think that was about it, but I, I just didn't see the point in letting the other one finish. Yeah, so this is 2400 RPM at 0 0.04, whereas it was 1500 at 0.03. Just wanted to see if there was any difference, that's all. This is moving nearly as quickly as the other one did it two times. There you go, we're just about there. So the whole profile has been gone over with the parting tool. And you can see the chips flying out of there nicely, no pecking. So that was what I wanted to achieve with this video and see what sort of results I got. I must admit I'm quite pleased with the finish on the part. Now that's a still from the old video and that's the surface finish I was getting when I was pecking. That's the surface finish I got at 1500 RPM. And you can see it doesn't look bad. That's at 2400 RPM at 0.04 per rev feed with no pecks. I was getting a little bit of chatter in the radii but I think that probably needed a slightly perhaps a deeper cut or a bit more uh, feed speed to uh, get rid of that so that's the part I'm quite pleased with the end result even though there's no customer to pass them on to alright thank you for watching